Hi friends, welcome to Bioglow. If you like this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Today we are going to discuss the bacteria Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Myself, Mohamed Desvile, Assistant Professor of Microbiology, Marcus Arts and Science College, Adhavanad. Then history. Mycobacteria are acid-first roads. They are acid-first bacilli. They also show filamentous forms like fungal mycelium, hence it is called mycobacteria. Robert Koch is the first scientist isolated mycobacterium tuberculosis in 1882. Then morphology. Mycobacteria are acid-fast roots. The size is about 2 to 3 micrometer in length and 0.4 micrometer in breadth. They are straight or slightly curved with rounded ends. Then branching and filamentous forms are also seen in the case of mycobacterium tuberculosis. Beaded and barred forms are also seen especially in sputum. They are arranged in singly or in small clumps. Non-motile organism, non-sporing, non-capsulated. One of the important peculiarity or feature of mycobacterium tuberculosis is their acid-fast organisms. Acid fastness properties due to the presence of mycolic acid around the cell. What are the stains used for the demonstration of mycobacterium tuberculosis? First stain is known as ZN stain, that is Zeal Nielsen stain. In Zeal Nielsen stain, the bacilli appear as red with blue background. Then, fluorescent staining method, the smear is stained with the fluorescent dyes like oramin or orodamin and observe under fluorescent microscope. Then tubercle bacilli appear as yellow luminous roads in a dark field. Then here, this is the, uh, this is the image of Zeal Nielsen stain. We look at this picture, we can see that the tubercle bacilli appears are red in color. Then cultural characteristics. Mycobacterium tuberculosis is obligate aerobe. The optimum temperature is 37 degrees Celsius and the temperature ranges is between 20 to 40 degrees Celsius. And the optimum pH is 7.0 and the range is between 6.0 to 7.0. Mycobacterium tuberculosis are slow growing. It takes 2 to 8 weeks to grow on medium. And the generation time of an organism is 14 to 15 hours. It grow wells on enriched media containing serum, potato, blood and egg. Then what are the types of culture media used for the cultivation of mycobacterium tuberculosis? First one, salt media containing egg. Uh, number one, Lovenstein Jensen media, one of the important media used in the identification of mycobacterium tuberculosis. Second one, Dorset egg medium. Third one, Petrognani medium. Then the Tarshish medium containing blood and Pavlovsky's medium containing potato and Lofler serum slope containing serum. Then what are the liquid media used for the cultivation of mycobacterium tuberculosis? First one Dubois media, second one Middle Brooks media, third one Prosker media. Then sold media are usually used for the cultivation and liquid for sensitivity testing, comma biochemical reactions and antigen and vaccine preparations. This is about salt media mainly used for the cultivation and liquid media is used for sensitivity testing and other etc. Amongst all salt media, Lovenstein Jensen medium is commonly used and also recommended by International Union Against Tuberculosis. Then Middlebrook 7H10 and 7H12 can be used. What are the advantages? They are transparent and allow early detection of cotton. Uh, here depicted a figure of Lovenstein Jensen medium. This is the picture of Lovenstein Jensen medium. Then colony appearance. Mycobacterium tuberculosis forming colony are dry, rough, raised, wrinkled, irregular, and also described as rough, buff, and tough appearance. Always known as rough, buff, and tough. It go, grows luxuriantly in culture and growth is described as eugonic growth. Eugonic means 
luxuriant growth or sufficient growth. The growth is improved with addition of 0.5 percentage glycerol. It does not grow on medium with para nitrobenzoic acid. In liquid media, growth occurs as a bottom that creeps up the sides, forms prominent surface pellicle which extends along sides above the medium. This is the colony morphology of mycobacterium tuberculosis. The picture itself indicates the formation of colony morphology. The new techniques for cultivating mycobacterium. What are the new techniques adopted for cultivating mycobacterium tuberculosis? For rapid system of mycobacterium tuberculosis, we can use BACTAC system. This system is very familiar nowadays in different microbiological laboratories. It is more sensitive than routine culture. It is very rapid than routine culture. It uses special growth or liquid media with radiometric growth detection. Usually 14 carbon label substrate is used and 14 carbon dioxide evolved due to bacterial metabolism is measured. This is the picture of Bactac bottle. A barcode is there. This barcode is read by using Bactac system machines. A liquid culture is there in the Bactac bottle. Then biochemical test. What are the different types of biochemical tests used for the cultivation of mycobacterium tuberculosis? First one, niacin test. Second one, neutral red test. Third one, aryl sulfatase test. Fourth one, nitrate reduction test. Fifth, amidase test. Sixth, catalase and peroxidase test. Seventh, susceptibility to pyrazinamide. Then susceptibility to TCH. Thiophen 2 carboxylic acid hydroxide and last one twin AT hydrolysis. Then biochemicals are in detail. First one niacin test. The mycobacterium when grown on egg medium they form niacin but most species have enzymes that convert free niacin to niacin ribonucleotide. When 10% cyanogen bromide and 4% alcoholic aniline are added to suspension of culture, they develop yellow color within few minutes. This is the indication of positive test. Yellow color formation is the indication of positive test. This test is positive in mycobacterium tuberculosis. This is the result of niacin test. Look at the picture, we can see that the formation of yellow color. Then second one, neutral red test. Virulent strain binds neutral red in alkaline buffer solution, but a virulent strain cannot bind the neutral red in alkaline buffer solution. When the growth is added to ethyl alcohol and kept for incubation for one hour, then the supernatin is collected and the supernatin and it alcohol is removed with pipette and neutral red is added to the make fluid. First one, after incubating one hour, supernatin that is alcohol is removed with pipette and neutral is added to the make fluid is alkaline. After incubation, pink or red stained colonies are seen, they are suspended in fluid indicating positive test. This is the result of neutral red test. Then aryl sulfatase test. Organisms is cultured on a broth containing tripotassium salt of phenolphthalein disulfate. What are, what are the constituents of the media? Tripotassium salt of phenolphthalein disulfate. Activity of the enzyme aryl sulfatase is detected by the release of phenolphthalein which becomes a red in alkaline conditions. This test is negative for mycobacterium tuberculosis and positive for atypical mycobacteria. This is the result of aryl sulfatase test. The nitrate reduction test. The test organisms are incubated in nitrate broth, then kept for 4 hours. After 4 hours, the broth is tested for reduction of nitrate to nitrite by the addition of sulfanilic acid reagent. Which reagent is used here? Sulfanilic acid reagent. If nitrates are present, pink or red compound is formed. When they are not detected to test whether they are reduced beyond nitrite, zinc dust is added. The zinc dust converts nitrate to nitrite. 
if no nitrites are detected even with addition of zinc dust it is assumed that nitrates are reduced beyond nitrites by bacteria this is the result of nitrate reduction test and this test to be positive for mycobacterium tuberculosis and positive indicate that formation of red color then amidase test a solution of amide is incubated along with bacterial suspension then manganese sulfate phenol and hypochlorite are added and tubes are placed in boiling water then detect the formation of blue color blue color indicates a positive test the positive for mycobacterium tuberculosis and when nicotinamide and pyrazinamide are used Acetamide, benzamide, carbamide can also use in the test to differentiate a typical mycobacteria. The blue color develops the formation of positive test. Positive test is used for mycobacterium tuberculosis. This is the result of amidase test. We can see that in the right tube contain a slightly blue color. Then catalase and peroxidase test. Equal volume of 30% hydrogen peroxide and 0.2% catechol in distilled water are added in a test tube containing 5 ml of test culture and allowed to stand for few minutes. Then reaction is observed for appearance of the bubble for 1 minute and noted as positive. The bubble formation indicates that the result to be positive. The lack of bubble formation indicates negative result. The browning colors indicate, I mean browning indicates peroxidase activity. Most atypical mycobacteria are strongly catalase positive. They show immediate frothing. Mycobacterium tuberculosis is weakly positive. They show slow release of bubbles one by one. Mycobacterium tuberculosis is peroxidase positive whereas atypical mycobacterium are negative. This is the picture of catalase peroxidase test. Then effervescence or bubble indicates that catalase positive. Then without effervescence or bubble indicates negative result. Then susceptibility to pyrazinamide. Mycobacterium tuberculosis is sensitive to 50 microgram per ml of pyrazinamide while other mycobacterium are resistant. Then the susceptibility to TCH that means thiophen 2 carboxylic acid hydroxide. The mycobacterium bovis species is susceptible to 10 microgram per ml of TCH while mycobacterium tuberculosis is resistant. Then tween AT hydrolysis. Some mycobacterium possess lipase which is splits tween AT to oleic acid and poly polyoxyethylated sorbitol which changes test solution from straw yellow to pink indicating the positive of team AT hydrolysis test. The mycobacterium tuberculosis gives variable result. Some atypical mycobacteria give positive result. This is the result of twin AT hydrolysis. Then resistant or sensitive factors of mycobacterium tuberculosis. What are the compounds to be resist by mycobacterium tuberculosis and what are the compounds to be sensitive by mycobacterium tuberculosis? Mycobacterium remain viable in sputum for 20 to 30 hours, whereas in droplet of nuclei they are kept for 8 to 10 days. They, within 8 to 10 days they become infective. In cultures for 6 to 8 months it acts as remain viable. They are relatively resistant to disinfectants. They are sensitive to formaldehyde and glutaraldehyde. The bacilli are killed in 2 hours after exposure to direct sunlight. Direct sunlight is a good sterilizer. Then ethanol is a good disinfectant. They kills bacilli in 2 to 10 minutes. Then cell wall of mycobacteria. This is very very important. It has lipid, protein and polysaccharide. The cell wall is made up of four layers from inner to outside. These are following. First one peptidolycan, second one arabinogalactin, third one mycolic acid layer, 
and fourth one mycocytes then what is the importance of cell wall lipid wall with mycolic acid is one of the important property of mycobacterium tuberculosis then acid fastness property is one of the property of mycobacterium tuberculosis and they are impermeable to the stains resistant to acid and alkali and resistant to antibodies and complement system the slowness of growth by reducing permeation of nutrients to cell then hydrophobic character of bacteria because of which they tend to adhere to each other during growth in liquid media antigens present in mycobacterium the group specific polysaccharide antigen second one type specific protein antigen then various protein antigens and polysaccharide antigens are used in serological test to detect different types of antibodies this is all about mycobacterium tuberculosis in part 1 so part 1 is over so we can discuss uh, in detail about part 2 so thank you for watching this channel if you like this channel please like share and subscribe thank you